a warm greeting from me Prakriti Neupane. Today I am here to tell about ionization, electrolysis, electroplating, electrorefining and electrotyping. Let's first begin with the term ionization. The process in which opposite ions are formed from an electrolyte is called ionization. Solid sodium chloride does not conduct electricity because it does not produce free ions. But when it is kept in water, it dissociates into opposite ions and conducts electricity. Pure water behaves just like a non-electrolyte because it does not produce free ions. But it becomes an electrolyte when some drops of acid or ionic compounds are kept in it. Only ionic or electrovalent compounds conduct electricity or that is they undergo the complete ionization whereas the covalent compounds do not undergo complete ionization. Theory of ionization. In 1880 AD, Arrhenius proposed the theory of ionization. The main points of this theory are each and every electrolyte dissociates into opposite ion when it gets dissolved in an aqueous solution. The electrolytic solution contains equal amount of cations and anions, so it is neutral in nature. Strong electrolytes undergo almost complete ionization to give opposite ions, whereas weak electrolytes do not undergo complete ionization. In electrolytic solution, cations move towards cathode and anions move towards anode. In the solution, opposite ions of electrolyte may reunite to give neutral compound. As a result, as a result of this, there is a state of equilibrium between ions and compounds. Now let's talk about the uh, factors affecting ionization. Heat. Ionization increases as we increase temperature. This is because uh, heat supplies kinetic energy to the solvent molecules. As a result of this, uh, the process of ionization becomes faster. Nature of electrolyte. Strong electrolytes give more ions whereas uh, weak electrolytes give less ions in the electrolytic solution. Nature of uh, uh, solvent. Polar solvent helps to produce more ions whereas in non-polar or less polar solvents electrolytes produce fewer number of ions. Concentration. Dilute solution helps to produce more ions whereas in concentration solution electrolytes produce fewer ions. Presence of impurities. Impurities increase the rate of ionization whereas common ion producing impurities decrease the rate of ionization. For example, ionization of hydrogen sulfide decreases in the presence of hydrogen chloride. Now let's talk about electrolysis. If the process of ionization is carried out in the presence of electricity, then it is called electrolysis. In the presence of electricity, electrovalent compounds like copper sulfate, sodium chloride, etc. give opposite ions. Importance of electrolysis. Electrolysis is used to get opposite ions, that is cations and anions. It is used in the process of electroplating, for example, gold plating, silver plating, copper plating, etc. It is used in the process of electrotyping to, pro to produce irregular metallic objects. It is used in the galvanization process to protect metals from corrosion. It is used to get hydrogen and oxygen gas from water. Electrolysis of water. Breaking down of water molecule into hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion to produce hydrogen and oxygen gas in the presence of electricity is called electrolysis of water. Materials required for the electrolysis of water. Voltmeter, two test tips, two graphite rods, battery of 6 volt, water and sulfuric acid. Procedure. Take some amount of water in the voltmeter and put some drops of sulfuric acid in it. Arrange all the apparatus. Supply current from the source of electricity. When we supply current, water molecule dissociates into opposite ions and move towards the respective electrodes. Hydrogen gas is collected at cathode, whereas oxygen gas is collected at anode. Mechanism of hydrogen and oxygen gas formation. Reaction at cathode. Hydrogen ion has positive charge, so it moves towards the cathode. In the cathode, hydrogen ion gains one electron and becomes neutral hydrogen atom. It is also called nascent hydrogen. Now, two hydrogen atoms combine together to make the hydrogen gas. Reaction at anode. Hydroxyl ion has negative charge, so it moves towards the anode. In the anode, hydroxyl ion loses one electron and becomes neutral species. This neutral OH groups rearrange to make uh, water and oxygen gas. Electrolysis of copper sulfate. Breaking down of copper sulfate into copper ion and sulfate ion in the presence of electricity is called electrolysis of copper sulfate. Procedure of electrolysis of copper sulfate. Take two copper electrodes and put some uh, copper sulfate solution in the volt voltmeter. Arrange all the apparatus, supply electric current from the source of electricity. Now copper sulfate undergoes ionization to give opposite ions. Mechanism of uh, electrolysis of copper sulfate. Reaction at cathode. Copper ion having positive charge moves towards the cathode and gains uh, two electrons from there. As a result, it makes neutral copper atom. This neutral copper atom sediments over the surface of cathode, increasing the thickness of cathode. Reaction at anode. Sulfate ion having negative charge moves towards the anode where it reacts with copper atom to give copper sulfate in the solution. In this way, the concentration of copper sulfate remains the same in the solution. During this process, the thickness of anode decreases. Now let's talk about electroplating. The process in which color of one metal is deposited over the surface of another metal by using electricity is called electroplating. 
uh, conditions required for electroplating, the metal which is going to be deposited will be made anode, the metal whose surface is going to be cath uh, coated will be made cathode, the electrolytic solutions will be the salt solution of anodic metal, continuous and uniform flow of electricity will be supplied. Gold plating over silver. The process in which gold is deposited over the surface of silver by using electricity is called gold plating. Uh, so, mechanism of gold plating in the aqueous solution, gold chloride undergoes ionization to give gold ion and copper uh, gold ion and chloride ion. Gold ion having positive charge moves towards the cathode and gains three electrons from the earth. As a result, it makes neutral gold atom. This neutral gold atom sediments over the surface of cathode, increasing the thickness of cathode. At the same time, the chloride ion having negative charge moves towards the anode where it reacts with gold atom to give gold chloride in the solution. In this way, the concentration of gold chloride remains the same in the solution. Silver plating over copper. The process in which silver is deposited over the surface of copper by using electricity is called silver plating. Mechanism of silver plating. In an aqueous solution, silver nitrate undergoes ionization to give silver ion and nitrate ion. Silver ion having positive charge moves towards the cathode and gains uh, one electron from there. As a result, it makes neutral silver atom. This neutral silver atom sediments over the surface of cathode increasing the thickness of cathode. At the same time, the nitrate ion having negative charge moves towards the anode where it reacts with silver atom to give silver nitrate in the solution. In this way, the concentration of silver nitrate remains the same in the solution. Now, let's talk about uh, copper plating over iron. In an aqueous solution, copper uh, uh, sulfate undergoes ionization to give copper ion and sulfate ion. Copper ion having positive charge moves towards the cathode and gains two electrons from there. As a result, it makes neutral copper atom. This neutral copper atom sediments over the surface of cathode increasing the thickness of cathode. At the same time, sulfate ion having negative charge moves towards the anode where it reacts with copper atom to give copper sulfate in the solution. In this way, the concentration of copper sulfate remains the same in the solution. Application of electroplating. Electroplating makes the metallic parts and products called rosters and attractive. It makes the metallic parts and products uh, corrosion resistant and durable. It makes the metallic parts and products harder and stronger. It uh, increases the lifespan of metals and metallic parts. Now let's move towards the electro refining. The process in which impure metal is purified by using electricity is called electro refining. During electro refining, impure metal is taken at anode and pure metal is taken at cathode. To continue the process, salt solution of the same metal is used as an electrolyte. Gold refining. The process in which impure gold is purified by using electricity is called gold refining. During gold refining, impure gold is taken at anode and pure gold is taken at cathode. In this process, gold chloride is used as an electrolyte. Silver refining. The process in which impure silver is purified by using electricity is called silver refining. During silver refining, impure silver is taken at anode and pure silver is taken at cathode. In this process, silver nitrate is used as an electrolyte. Copper refining. The process in which impure copper is purified by using electricity is called copper refining. During copper refining, impure copper is taken at anode and pure copper is taken at cathode. In this process, copper sulfate is used as an electrolyte. Application of electro refining. Electro refining is used to purify impure metals during their extraction. It is used to separate metals from the mixer of metals. Now at last, let's talk about electrotyping. Electrotyping is the combined application of electrolysis and electroplating. It was invented by Maurice von Jacobi in Russia in 1838 AD. Application of electrotyping. Electrotyping is used to make irregular metallic structures, for example, a statue of God, goddess, writers, leaders, scientists, etc. It is used to make metallic letters like name players, school name, name of hospitals, etc. Thank you.